360 questions to ask a grave digger. Here are just seven of them. I'm have like Nelson, rap music writer, hanging with the grave diggers. Peace is poetic, the Grim Reaper. Prince Paul Undertaker. Master Resurrector. The gatekeeper. I saw you like a shark when the first blood drip. Grave diggers. How'd you all form? How'd it go down? Man, yo, great grave diggers form for the darkness of the universe, you know what I'm saying? The life we live is like a horror movie, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? The struggle we go through is like a horror movie. When you hear the album Grave Digger six feet deep, you know what I'm saying? Six feet deep, that's, that's, that's deepness. That's going into the darkness six times. behind your tracks who produces the stuff directors we got the super producer well-known platinum track maker you know what i'm yeah, saying right. you know what i'm saying prince paul the undertaker i'm saying because he he undertakes things he take you under me i be the grim reap i'm grim because when i sit out here and look at these people and to get all these mentally dead people i'm not happy you know what i'm saying First you go to, you should go to the gatekeeper. It's the gatekeeper representing the grave diggers. But the little sorceress. He, he's gonna decide, he's gonna decide whether or not he's gonna let you through the gate of heaven or hell, mental death or life. You the storm and bring it on to get jumped in the box from his jack to burn. The men to walk with a brain storm. dealing with emotion too when it comes to tracks i mean if you could pull a feeling out of the four of us and and and, and physically throw it on a record that's what a grave digger record is well the grave digger crew came about a couple years ago starting with myself um going through this rebellious period in life so what i did was I found three other brothers who rhymed who were going through similar circumstances I was going through. One being Poetic, um, from Too Poetic, uh, one being Prince Rakim from Magic Prince Rakim, and Fuquan from Stetson Sonic. We were all at one time alive in the music industry. We got assassinated, we were dead as far as music business people thought. When we were trying to shop the demo after we finished it, the attitude was like, y'all had your careers, <laughs> your life is over. You know what I'm saying? So actually, the first grade that we had done was our own. We came together, realized that we worked well together, spawned off some ideas and stuff, and now we're here today. Now we're above the six feet level. You know what I'm saying? We're standing on top and walking around. The theme is like the nastiness, the real dark side of life. Ah! Stroll through the dark conditions. I stone you till I see sparks and friction. When people catch the catch the um video Diary of a Madman, you know, we have a little controversy on they want to ban and some station they say we coming like this, we coming like that. What we doing is flashing. Flashing different things that happen every day, things that we seen or have seen or you have seen. It comes from the thought of a man who have been suppressed or people who have been suppressed. To say that our music would have negative connotations is not true because a lot of the things that we base our songs on, we find on the news. We find suicide on the news. You know what I'm saying? So we're just feeding off of everyday situations and showing you the horrors of everyday life. Hey, yo, check this out. In this video right here, we don't intend to promote any violence or any form of Satanism or none of that, you know what I'm saying? Nor are we trying to disrespect anybody's religious belief. We're just trying to manifest and bring forth the harvest of modern day life so we all can recognize, man, because positive education activates constant elevation. That means peace.
grave diggers. You got people thinking that, you know what I'm saying, the grave diggers be dealing with blasphemy and all that. We, we're not trying to blaspheme nothing. See, the whole science is that we just expressing the stress that comes out of us. So please do the knowledge what we're saying and look beyond the surface. Don't judge a book by its cover. You're saying grave diggers is anti-women. But see, we understand that the key to a strong nation is through the woman. Once you take the woman from a nation, the nation falls. That's why you see America is represented by the Statue of Liberty, a woman. It's like the album, you, you hear songs like Death Trap. You can't come back. No matter what you do when you fall into the death trap. The death trap is that mental trap of, of being consumed by the streets, being consumed by your by your by your weaker desires. Projects, you know what I'm saying, all the stones, it's like tombstones. It's like it's like it's like a big cemetery here. Because it's not too many kids who come out of here that make it and survive in the world. You know what I'm saying? We realize that the world is living in a state of death. Death is death. And it's time to get them up because there's a chance to come back from mental death if you get your grave digged up by a grave digger. Yeah, I got one last question. So this gravy thing, is it all heavy, positive, negative, and all the life stars, or is it just like having fun to it? Um, no, it's an entertainment edge to it, you know what I'm saying? We got songs like Bang Yo, you know what I'm saying? That's a song, you know what I'm saying, make you just feel that energy and just go wild and party. Check it out, check it out. Yeah. From Constant Elevation, it says, being gravy pays my rent for today. Some hate the image that I must portray. Critics say, who the hell? I go, yeah, stupid mother. I'm already, I'm already here. Next case.